From the developer who brought you the non-stop action of God of War 1, 2, 3, and Neopets The Darkest Fairy, comes Sony Santa Monica's follow-up to 2018 Slow Thoughtful Meditation on Fatherhood. That's an even slower, more thoughtful meditation on how everyone you love will die. Even your dog. <laughs> God of War, Ragnarok. Kratos and co. are back in a brand new adventure which is really just more of the old adventure. Not that you'd know, based on our favorite dad god, skill tree and armor. What happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Which have been completely erased at the worst time ever, because everyone's still trying to kill him. That is, if parenting his garbage son doesn't kill him first. That's right, Atreus is also here, whether you like it or not. Too damn tall now! And this time, you have to, I mean, get to, play from his perspective. Which is even more annoying than the MJ missions in Spider-Man. Because at least MJ wasn't a mid-pubescent teen going through a hard, awkward phase. And you didn't have to watch her try to date. I just hope the next game doesn't have a quick time event where Kratos explains the birds and the bees. Journey to Midgard, which used to be normal, but now is cold because of magic or something. But even though it's still full of spooky ice zombies, the biggest thing you have to worry about is the Pigeon Man from Hey Arnold. Always wash your berries before you eat them. Yep, Ragnarok is right around the corner, and Peepaw Crow Arms is here to make it your problem too. Fortunately, you have your friends by your side, plus some dude that won't help you at all. But he's pretty useful if you've always wanted to make Kratos look like he's just a little guy. Then eventually, at a divorcee that is trying to kill you from the very start of the game, and a motley crew just messed up enough to create mythology's answer to modern family. And you know what that means. New Netflix sitcom series! Look, it worked for The Witcher. Assemble an army across the weirdly empty realms of Norse mythology, including Svartalheim, the land of the dwarves, which you're repeatedly told is gassy. The effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. And yet no one calls it Bartleheim. Come on, guys, if we can't have fun in the apocalypse, then when can we? Of course, Moria isn't the only previously unexplored realm you get to visit. Take a trip to Asgard, the home of the Aesir, which looks like if Todd Howard finally developed a game that didn't look like trash. Then journey into Casa de Odin in an Atreus-centric quest that will make him wonder what his role is in the fate of the world, and will make you wonder when the freaking God of War is gonna come back already, as you learn that there are very fine people on both sides of this battle, and play Google Translate with Odin's Eyes Wide Shut mask, which is all somehow less depressing than your one-on-one -on -one time with a war god himself. Snack? I do not need a snack. Who's finally taking the time to mourn his late wife Faye, because she may have died in the last game, but she didn't get cast until now. Who you'll spend hours dreamwalking with, instead of trying to stop the literal end of the world. Come on, Kratos. You're acting like this is the first dead wife you've ever had. Get it together, man. We've got lizards to murder. Reunite father and son in the fight against the guy that was obviously evil from the start by slaughtering a bunch of animals and people that had the misfortune of being in your way. As you whip out your usual orgy of sharp things, like you're filming an infomercial, and give everything the business end, until your rage meter fills to do the traditional Kratos thing of punching violently, or charging violently, or healing violently, with epic battle mechanics that will almost make you forget the time you got wrecked by a bunch of plant spores on Vanaheim. So grab your axe, and your blades, and also your magical god-killing spear, and also, also, your sick new grappling hook, and get ready to play the game you liked four years ago with a slightly different story, and with slightly different monsters, but with more pointless puzzles that NPCs will solve for you the second you hesitate. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Come on, guys. I know I'm not the god of puzzle solving or anything, but I think even I can figure out that I need to freeze the geyser with my geyser freezing axe. Okay, we froze one of those geysers. I know! Starring Never Skip Chess Day, Teen Wolf, Jackass Presents, Bad Grandpa, Thor from Endgame, Blues Brother, 
Cinderella. Mamma Mia, here we go again. The Headless Norseman. The Big Friendly Giant. The Little Friendly Giant. Air Frayer. Talk about an Asgard. Ratatouille. And so many dogs. Look at these good boys. Look at those good boys. And look at. Uh. Well, he's, he's just misunderstood. The Godfather, part two. You know, it's a good thing this game is so pretty to look at because you're gonna spend most of your time watching it. Or at least, you know, climbing slowly up different kinds of walls. I mean, I guess that's one way to get high for Breath of the Wild too. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. You have escaped a history of six of 10 games through your own power. You are the key. This is the song that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. With great power comes even greater copyright laws. I'm hanging on to the other side. I won't give up till the end of me.